Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm um, feeling a lot better, feeling a lot better. I actually woke up this morning in a very decent space. And so this uh, morning message probably will come in multiple videos. But uh, the first thing I want to say is I want to tell you um, what I just experienced, which definitely will support um, the uh, development of this video and this volume, I'm going to call it. So I was walking out of my building. And as I was walking out, there was a young lady and a gentleman coming out of the stairwell. So I said, good morning. No response. When I got to the door um, to go out and they were behind me, I said, good morning again. No response. Now, my first instinct was cuss them out because that's just rude. But I have to step back and think everybody wasn't raised the way you were raised. So with that being duly noted, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go to the dumpster, put my stuff in the dumpster and go to my car, get myself together and head into work. The interesting thing about the situation is that while my first instinct was to cuss them out, my second thought was, you know what, just keep moving. And the reality is that the message that I received out of that was simply this people will always remember what you used to do but they won't remember or they won't acknowledge what you're currently doing and they won't acknowledge your transformation why because they may be stuck remember your alignment is your alignment you cannot replicate anybody's alignment and if you're out of alignment you need an adjustment honesty Honesty with yourself first and foremost. The reality is that as a child, I don't know about you, but I used to always hear in my house, people who live in glass houses should not throw stones. But this morning, I want to take that a little bit further. If you live in a glass house, that means you can see out and everyone else can see in. And I think that's the important message. Whether you think people can see in or not, People can see in. People can read between the lines. And the reality is that I can be transparent and say for a long time, I didn't agree with who I was. So what did I do? I tried to live a different life. The reality is that when you accept your flaws and you stop projecting your insecurities on other people, you begin to feel better. You begin to walk better. And you don't have to walk around lying about who you are and what you're doing. And finally, as my journey is beginning, like literally my journey is beginning to work, I want to say this. I want to say that there was a point in life where I sincerely thought that if somebody wronged you, you're supposed to get back. But the reality is that if you go through life living like that and doing tit for tat, you're not going to get anywhere. It may appear that you're maneuvering where you want to go right in the moment. And even from the outside looking in, it may seem that way. But the reality is this, and I say this all the time. At the end of the day, I don't care what you believe in. We all will have to withstand judgment. And the reality is that when we withstand judgment, nobody, nobody is going to be responsible for that but us. So with that being stated, all I can say to you is this. There are some of us who have assignments. There are some of us who accept who have accepted assignments that we seemingly are not ready for. And if you have accepted an assignment that you are not ready for, withdraw yourself. Withdraw yourself from that assignment. On multiple occasions, I have been asked to do things speak about things and things of that nature and I will always say nope because I'm not ready I'm striving I'm striving but every day there is an attack from the enemy but what I decided to do is stop giving the enemy so much power people are who they are we are human we are flawed anyway but the reality is that you're only responsible for your own actions and I will continue to say that you're responsible for your own actions now for everybody that 
enjoys posting the new year, new me. It's no need. Start now. I charge you to do what I did last night. Go into your call log and sort it by incoming calls. Don't look at your outgoing calls. Sort it by incoming calls. Count your incoming calls. Then go back and sort it by outgoing calls. Count your outgoing calls. If your outgoing calls exceed your incoming calls, person by person, that's where you start your new year, new me. You can do the same thing for text message, but the calls are the most significant. Another lesson. When you truly open your heart and you open your mind, and, and, and the thing about being open-minded is not accepting everything, but when you're open-minded, you try to see things from everyone's perspective. But when you truly open your heart and open your mind, you are susceptible to disease. And that disease could be manipulation. That disease could be hurt. That disease could be so many different things. And so what you have to understand is that while you're opening your heart and opening your mind, you also have to allow the Lord God or whomever, and I'm not going to just say Jesus, whoever you pray to, allow that higher being to enter into your position and manifest their spirit in your position so that you are protected. That's the biggest lesson that I've learned in 2018. Now, as for honesty and integrity, the biggest thing that I've learned from my own journey and from, you know, interacting with other individuals is that if you are surrounded by anybody who was raised on survival and lying, deception, and manipulation, is the only way that they know how to make it, you will fall victim to those practices. Some things cannot be reversed. Yes, 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 prayer changes things. God can heal and transform. But sometimes those ways will take over. If you're not, now listen to what I'm saying, if you're not in total alignment with the Creator. Now, with that being stated, integrity honesty your character at the end of the day that's all you have and i'm having to come to grips with the fact that some of the individuals that you are the most closely associated with are the individuals who are breaking you down day by day and you don't even realize it because as you will notice i always say this hurt people hurt people and they are individuals who are right beside you who are with it who are in your heart who are in your mind who are destroying your every essence of your being and self-worth simply because it's the only way they know how to feel good about themselves and uplift themselves now why are we aligned with our worst enemy now, this is my analysis. My analysis of why we're aligned with our worst enemy, because it looks good. It sounds good. But the interesting thing is that a friend of mine said last night, if the actions and the words do not align, run for the border. But he went a little deeper than that. And he went on to say that these individuals have already revealed themselves, but you refuse to move. So my second message is, try to figure out why you cannot move. Why can't you move? You know, there's a such thing as sleep paralysis, and I want you to look that up. Look it up and think about it, because there's a reason that you cannot remove yourself. And finally, I don't want to continue on because I got so much more to say. But finally, don't burn bridges. Now, 
I say that lightly because there are some bridges that need to be burned so that you will never cross back over them again. But don't burn the bridges of the people who are open and honest with you and who truly have an unconditional love for you. The reality is that that word love is thrown around all too often the wrong way. Love that is unconditional is ongoing regardless of the level of hurt. Now, that doesn't mean that you're foolish, stupid, or any of that. Basically what it means is you love unconditionally because you know that at the end of the day, Jesus Christ died, Jesus Christ died on the cross to save us from our sins.